Act 1 Revelation Liz Liz in the Wild West with her husband and two children Ely's son from his first marriage Matthew and their common youngest daughter Sam in the evening the woman along with her daughter takes birth after which she gets back home along the way the girl greets the townspeople and they joyfully respond to her and her mother the next morning Eli decides to teach Matthew how to shoot a rifle Liz is categorically against it and asks to stop but the boy refuses to listen to her because she is not his own mother a few hours later the townspeople gather outside the church for Sunday service Liz is caring for Sam when she suddenly hears the voice of a new church minister looking at the reverend she recognized him experiencing a chilling horror and a constant feeling of fear after the service everyone began to live with the representative of the church leaving its borders at some point Liz noticed that a man touched Abigail's pregnant belly she decided to avoid meeting him and hastily left the church to wait for her husband and children in the wagon at the moment when the family was about to leave there was a scream and Liz called for help Abigail suddenly became ill and some things coming the locals helped to bring her to the church so that the midwife could deliver the baby Liz looked under the dress and saw the baby's hand she realized that the birth would be difficult and warned that only one would survive as the baby's head did not go away Liz took on a heavy burden and made a choice between the child and his mother as a result of which Abigail remained alive and the baby fell asleep forever sometime later the midwife is very upset by what happened also believing that she is to blame for this Eli supports and reassures his wife because these are the tricks of the Lord and not everything is subject to her Liz does not agree with her husband's opinion and is sure that the reverend is behind this having touched Abigail's stomach the day before the woman is sure that this man is cursed and brings pain and suffering with him the next day Liz and her daughter went to visit Nathan to visit a grieving couple Abigail's husband not only did not let her on the threshold of the house but also accused her of what had happened on the way home Sam as before greeted the townspeople but no one answered her because the family had become an outcast at night Liz woke up because of the bright light and decided to go to the window at the same moment a shot ring held and the bullet flew past her head drunk Nathan set fire to Ellie's wagon and opened the hunt for the midwife believing her to be a witch who took on the role of the Lord Little Matthew decided to protect the family and returned fire Eli tried to calm a drunken man who had lost his son but he demanded justice and wanted to burn Liz at the stake the reverend who arrived could calm him down who not only sent Nathan home but also promised to find solutions for his problems Liz saw the reverend and asked her husband not to let him into the house Eli disobeyed as the church representative saved their lives and deserves a thank you and a friendly welcome during a conversation with the reverend Eli decided to go for his wife the church representative sensed that Liz had been outside the door the entire time eavesdropping on their conversation the monk blamed her for what happened to the baby and said that he had come to punish her he also hinted at his daughter which scared Liz even more the reverend soon left and Liz asked to lie to leave town as soon as possible the husband agreed but only after he could find a shepherd for his sheep who could take care of them in the morning Matthew went to the barn to feed the sheep and witnessed a terrible picture as someone destroyed all the cattle the pregnant sheep was gutted with extreme cruelty which made it clear that Nathan had done it Eli decided to deal with the grieving man because there is no forgiveness for such antics he and his son went to Nathan's house to get it over with meanwhile Liz blindfolded Sam and asked her to sing a song to her while she cleaned up the bodies of the sheep as soon as she was in the shed the reverend locked the door and went to the midwife's daughter to take her away in an unknown direction arriving at Nathan's house Eli and Matthew made sure he had escaped and returned home Liz woke up and realized that the barn was open and her husband and son were on its threshold she told Eli about what had happened but he did not believe it as he met his daughter in the backyard safe in the evening before going to bed 
Sam told her mother that the Reverend thought she was cursed and wanted to punish Liz for her bad behavior at night. The mute midwife waits until the husband falls asleep and goes to church with a knife. She dreams of taking the life of the Reverend, but in his bed she finds her daughter's doll. At the same moment a representative of the church enters Liz's house and with a knife in his hands wanders around the bedrooms of her children Eli wakes up and notices that his wife is not in bed. Looking around he notices a light on in the shed and heads there unwittingly falling into the reverence trap he not only attacked Eli but gutted him just because Liz loves her husband upon returning home the wife saw Eli with the intestines sticking out soon Matthew also saw his father whom Eli asked to take his family to the mountains to his grandfather and also to save him from torment the son shot his father and took his life after which they left and the reverend burned the house to the ground act 2 exodus young Jonah wanders through the desert and at some point loses consciousness she is soon picked up by a Chinese family passing nearby noticing that the girl is very beautiful the man takes her to the mining town of Wismuth where he decides to sell the fellow traveler to Frank the local owner of a brothel Jonah does not understand what happened and tries to escape but Sally one of the night butterflies takes her under his protection she realizes that the girl is too young and offers to work as a waitress sometime later Eastman who won a large sum of money playing card games asks Frank to sell him his time with Jonah Sally tries to divert the client's attention and agrees to a free date but he's not happy with it as a result Frank offers a neutral option to pay money for an hour of very good time with Sally while Jonah We'll look at all this in order to learn how to satisfy men while making love Eastman. Becomes violent and hits Sally Jonah cannot bear to watch this and threatens the man with his own. Revolver the client is turned on by this even more as the safety is on after intimacy with a woman. Eastman decides to take advantage of Jonah but Sally takes his life by shooting him in the back of the head the next morning the sheriff executes a prostitute for the crime and Frank enjoys good time with Joanna preparing her for her next client several years have passed Jonah became a professional night butterfly who became a friend with her colleague Elizabeth at some point a friend interrupts the date and shows her butt so that the client can complete his business afterwards the girls rushed to the balcony to watch the duel between the father of the brothel victim and Frank the sheriff does not want his friend to get hurt and violates the rules of the duel by shooting the grieving father in the back in the evening an impedent client climbs to kiss Elizabeth and does not accept her refusals at some point the girl bites his tongue which causes a wave of discontent it turned out that this is a significant person in the gold mines so Frank is forced to punish the beauty and cut off his tongue a little later the doctor helps heal the wounds and gives Elizabeth a sign language book Jonah helps her learn to communicate with gestures and plans to escape to another city with her friend in search of a beautiful and free Life the next morning the girls go to the marriage agency where Elizabeth agrees to become the wife of Eli who has been widowed six months earlier Jonah agrees to pretend to be a friend's sister and helps raise money to leave the brothel on the last night the whole building is rented by a rich man who wishes to remain anonymous Jonah realizes that the client is the reverend and walks out to him Wearing a mask this does not help her because the priest touches the girl's back and finds two moles realizing that this is his runaway daughter he chooses only her to make love but first decides to severely punish the defiant Jonah Elizabeth decides to protect her friend and attacks the reverend with a knife injuring his face a man takes the life of an easily accessible girl after which Jonah slids his throat and sets fire to cover up what happened after meeting with the doctor. She generously pays for the operation but in the end she cuts off her tongue herself in order to 
Impersonate the deceased Liz and go to Eli Act 3 Genesis Samuel and Wolf are two cowboys who survived a shootout for gold. The heavily wounded men negotiated truce and set out on one horse to the nearest town. Meanwhile young Jonah lives with her parents and and the reverend in the evening. The wife refuses her husband because she does not want to make love and in the morning during the service he condemns her Anna is the only one to whom there was no sign from above and the reverend manipulates the facts calling her a sinner at night Jonah wakes up with pain in her stomach and realizes that she is bleeding at the same time the girl's parents leave for the barn where the reverend punishes his wife with lashes the next morning the girl tries to remove the blood stains and her mother congratulates her because Jonah has become a woman capable of giving birth to a child soon two exhausted cowboys appear on the threshold of their house Jonah decides to help the men and hides them in the barn after which she removes bags of gold from the horse and drives her away so that her father does not have unnecessary questions the girl provides men with First aid pulls out bullets and treats wounds the reverend learned that his daughter had become an adult and began to show an unhealthy interest in her he no longer needs intimacy with his wife. Because there is a young and beautiful Jonah who has to go through a series of tests to begin with. She must take the life of a pig after which she washes her father in the bathroom a couple of days. Later the reverend watches his daughter change Anna notices this and quarrels with her husband. For which she gets punched in the face a little later the priest takes her to the blacksmith in order to put on a mask of shame at the same time Samuel waits for Wolf to go to the toilet and take his life at some point the closet door opens and Joanna watches the scene in a frighteningly calm way a little later the girl reproaches her mother for her weakness and says that she would not tolerate such humiliation Anna realizes that Jonah is right and takes her own life the monk is not upset by what happened and considers his wife a sinner who ended up in hell in the evening the representative of the church punishes himself and Jonah tries to find solace in the arms of Samuel a man is not ready for intimacy because it is too early for a girl to think about it in the morning the reverend decides to become the daughter's husband and puts a mask of shame on her so that Jonah will not resist Samuel tries to stop him but the reverend sends him to the next world with a slaughter hammer at night the reverend takes Jonah by force and at dawn she runs away from home act 4 retribution Matthew takes Liz and Sam to grandpa's but realizes that the reverend will be after them the guy offers his stepmother to take a gun and organize an ambush dropping her off along the way Liz waits for the horse and prepares to shoot but sees that she is without a rider a little later Matthew's wagon stumbles upon the body of an animal and the guy loses his rifle as soon as he goes after her the reverend shoots the boy and takes his life Liz realizes that there is nowhere else to run and she must fight evil taking a rifle she goes to the veranda to watch while waiting for the reverend at night he provokes his daughter as the distance is too great and she cannot hit him the reverend tells Liz that she made a mistake because she wasn't vigilant enough running into the house the mute woman finds the body of Ellie's father and realizes that she needs to leave the reverend attacks her and ties her up promising to punish not Liz but little Sam he wants Liz to watch him whip the girl and then make him his new wife not wanting to put up with such horror Liz wrenches her arm and frees herself she throws an old lamp at the priest but he is not afraid of fire because the real hell is life without love Liz decides to put an end to it and grabbing a gun lying on the floor makes a decisive shot sometime later Liz returns to normal and sets up a sawmill at the late Ely's home soon Nathan arrives at the dock whom the reverend has sent to Wismuth to work as a sheriff's bailiff a year ago he received 
the position of sheriff and found an orientation in the name of Elizabeth a woman without a tongue. Who took the life of the owner of a brothel Nathan is unaware that Liz is using her dead friends name as her real name is Jonah and arrests the woman with one last look at her daughter Liz throws herself into the lake and drowns uncocked Sam hears gunshots and realizes that her mother is no more alive many years have passed and Sam already has a daughter but she still remembers her mother admiring her character as a warrior thanks for watching we hope you like and subscribe see you soon